Morena te whanau. Kia ora everybody. Welcome into our Raka Uho. Welcome into our space just to hang out for an hour and just to Raka Uho. Just to bring awareness and awaken the systems. Just to bring a, um, you know, just to bring us to a point where we start to maybe engage with all of our systems. And just to start to understand like how much we actually are. So we just kind of don't sit in the, um, sit in the shadows. We can come out into the light a little bit. We just start with our karakia and we'll just jump into our mahi. Segments of things just to um, just to engage with the whole self. Anything from here, if it, you kind of lean into any part, really, I just encourage to finally just to go and um, look a little bit deeper into those places. You know, like uh, being still, a meditation. Some people call it just to bring that uh, awareness in a still space, which uh, can be challenging at times, especially in our environments because it's so busy. And um, we are always we always have things to do, so it's really paramount uh, in my and experience is paramount for us to give ourselves aroha, and I mean giving ourselves this our quiet space by ourselves, and just to regenerate, realign, reset, reset ourselves so the energy that sits here is the um, because this is the one that will generate out. You can't squeeze the mango and get orange juice. So it's always, um, you know, always from here, it will change out here. A lot of the times we'll go out there to try and change here and it's very temporary sort of stuff. So I'm uh, just encouraging to find ways that, um, to tap in who we really are and sort of start to uh, watch for the tohu, engage, and just notice like what actually changes from here out there. Because we are, you know, we are energy and everything works um, on an energetic level, so you will be um, quite, uh, it's pretty profound in what starts to happen if we start to tap into those places. Awesome, so uh, we just sort of jump into a bit of wire cast, sort of open up the body, just a few simple, very simple stretches. It's nothing like, you know, too outside the box, but it's just a way to start opening the body, coming to a short sitting period of a kind of meditative state, and then we'll start bring our short rako up and just do a bit of haimata, you know, tapping through the body, just starting to wake that up. And then we finish off with some movement, a karakia, and that'll be us. Then we could sort of close down uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So um, really encouraged to make it a practice. I know it's hard in these times because it's uh, much easier, much better to stay in a nice warm bed. It's nice and cozy. But, um, you know, we have the ability to do anything we want. We start changing how we look at things because the things we look at will change. We just change our perspectives, change our lenses, and what we look, how we look at things will start, will begin to change. You know, it's not who we are, it's who we think that, it's who we think that we are not that holds us back. So really start to open those spaces, open the heart and connect a bit more, up a little bit deeper. And you'll be amazed at what sort of starts to happen. Can I just find your space? Just so you can create a little bit of movement around yourself too, so without knocking too many things off the shelf. Waking up the rest of the farm if they're not already up. Just come into your space. <coughs> just start opening up the body, very simple stretches. Come on. Akiroto Griffin. Akiwako. Right, just drop the chin to the chest. Remember, you can bring your wriggling up onto the top of your hook. Just apply a bit of weight if you need it. 
to start to stretch and open it up through the base of the skull, the top of the spine, down through the back. I always like to open this part. Toru Ua Kahi. Mighty to a viola. You're just lifting out here, looking towards Rangi. Bring your hands under your chin if you need more of a stretch, opening the throat, stretching the front of the kaki. Toru Ua Kahi. Back to centre, sliding our chin over our left shoulder, drop your eyes to the floor behind your shoulder. We should just stretch and open up through this area, through the kaki, our main highway for a lot of inflammation that goes from the hip to the body during the day. Oru, Nua, Tangi, Piti. Turn over the right shoulder. Drop your eyes to the floor behind your shoulder. You'll feel that just a little extra stretch of your kaki. Some might get a few clips here and there, just opening up this place. Toru, Uwa, Taki, go back to center. Took the Rupoko. The left, left ear to the left shoulder. Bring your arm or hand up over the top if you need more of a stretch. Just start simple, just start to your mobility. And gradually the body starts opening up and you start becoming more flexible, more connected. Oru, Lua, Tahi, to center, you talk to the right. Right here to the right shoulder. Again, stretch through the other side of the kaki, through the other side of the neck, all the way down onto the shoulder. Just opening up these pathways. Oru, Uwa, Kahi, back to center. Again, just drop our chin to our chest again. Roll our chin. To the left shoulder, down back across the chest, up to our right shoulder. Lucky Pudney. Coming back across two more. So put up through the khaki. Focus on your breathing. Back to center. And now leaning forward, Haki Loko, Haki Waho. Just coming forward, walking yourselves out on your hands, on your fingertips if you're sitting cross legged. Just as far as you can go. Drop your upoko, use the weight of your upoko just to follow through with the stretch. Start feeling it up through your arms and shoulders, down through the back, into the lower back. If you're cross legged, you'll feel it into your hope, through your glutes. Just keep your breath flowing. Right, Uru, Ua, Tahi. Back up to center. Akiroto. Akiwaho. Back into the same stretch, just a little bit deeper. Into that full stretch again. Just focus on your tinana, listen to your body, listen to your tinana and your breath. Right. Just find your space. Now. Toru, Ua, Tai, back up the center. Hakiroto, Hakiwaho. Okay, if you do the left knee, bring our nose and chin to the left knee. You feel the stretch start moving around the tinana, around the body. You can feel the end of the, the side back on the opposite side. We're slowly opening up our body and awakening ourselves into the day. 
pour pouvoir travailler les capucines à Kiloto, à Kiwako, à Fiti, à Juste de Raiki, à Scamidel, à Dodi, à Fissetsar, à Dodi, à Fissetsar, à Dodi, down to the opposite side of the back into the lower back. To the whole bit. Gonu. Kuwa. Tahi. Dr. Sinta. Hakiroto. Alvarez time. Hakiroto. We are left our way to the floor. We are up over the top of the hoop football. Keep the shoulder back so our chest doesn't close. Relax the body. Just be mindful of the breath. Feel that stretch all the way down through the side of the tilana. Stretching and opening up to the lateral area. Opening the ribs. All the way down into the side of the hoofy. These are really beneficial, especially if we have dogs, we're at the desk all the time. We've done a lot of activity during the day for the body. Really good for our posture or through our lower back. So foot back, toru, dua, tahi, wai whakawhiti, right elbow to the floor, the left elbow to the top. Just give it straight out there with a new popo. Down through the lats, opening the ribs, keep the chest, uh, sorry, keep the shoulder back so the chest doesn't close. So we're not leaning forward in these. Just be mindful of the breath, listen to the tea and just rock into your ability. Alright, Toru, Dua, Tahi. Back up to center. Find your space. Close your eyes. If you're sitting in a chair, just find a chair where your feet are flat on papa. Hands will sit flat on the lap. Your cross leg is piled up. We have about three positions for our leg. Relax, palms facing each other or palms facing up. Take the upward, just find your rhythm. So we're on the floor, just having our spine erect on the back. So our spine is straight. Closing the eyes. Starting to relax the body. Eyes closed, feel your breath. Begin to relax up through the upopo, the back of the kaki. Up onto the upopo, through the scalp, all the way across to the forehead, relaxing down through the forehead, through the eyes, through the cheeks. Down into the off up and all the way up into your jaw. Relax and release your jaw. Relax down through the front of the kaki, onto the top of the shoulders. Settle into your natural rhythm of breathing. Relax down through the shoulders, through the arms, through the elbows, the forearms. All the way to the tips of your fingers. Just release, relax, just feel your quiet space. Feel your breath. Relax down through the forehead, through the chest area, through the upper back, shoulder blades. Relaxing down through the tinana, the solar plates, to the center of the back. 
flexing down to the lower fuku, down into the lower back. Release, relax on the outgoing breath and drop your shoulders. Relax through the hope or through the hips with the uri. Relax through the top of the wai or through your thighs. Relax through your knees, down your calves and shins, into your ankles. Relax through your feet, all the way to the tips of your toes. Just release, relax. Start to elongate the breath, longer and deeper. Expanding the breath all the way through the tinana, through the limbs. Through all your cellular structure, through your muscles, your bone, your marrow. Be present with your whole self. Slower, slower, deeper breaths. All right, drawing three deep breaths. No hui. All the way up front of the line of the spine if it helps. Up through the pumanoa, through the manoa, koka, fatu manoa, touch the pumoto moto or the crown. Release your breath down through the mouth. Relax the body. Akiroto. Follow the breath up through the tinana. Follow the direct line. Just be present. Feel it touch the crown. Release your breath. Akiroto, slow deep breath from the uri, the base of the spine. Feel the breath through up through the pumanoa, solar plex up through the manoa, through the poka, the kinigaro, way to the crowd of pumotomoto. Release your breath. One more long, slow, deep breath. Akiloto. Follow the line of the spine all the way to the crown. Uburoro. Tupumoto moto, release your breath. Drop your shoulders, relax the body. Right, our next three breaths, hakiroto, draw from the bottom. Follow the line of the spine. This time, push the pito back towards the spine, our belly button. Engage the poku. Keep following and drive the breath up through the tinana, through the manual. Boka, through the kinegaro. Feel the energy of breath sitting at the kumotomoto of the crown and hold for three, two, one. Release your breath. The energy back into the creative areas of the body, hakiroto, long, slow, deep breath. Push the 
which the Pito of Ecto was to spy. Engage the Puku. Follow with a breath. Directly up through the center of the Tilana. Be present, feel its move. Hold it the crowd. Three, two, one. Release your breath. Release anything and relax the body. One more breath. Hakiroto. Push the belly button, the pito back towards the spine, engage the puku, drive the breath, be present. Follow it up through the center of the tilana, to the manoa, to the poka, to the kinengaro. Rest at the puku, the puku, oru, uga. Taki, release your breath. Just bring your awareness to the center of your chest, to the manoa, to the space of the heart. Waki o tu manoa. Draw breath into the heart. Breathing in and out of the heart space, into the manoa, into the center. Kaki wahu. Just be present. Feel the breeze of your breath into the heart. Kaki wahu. Feel it sink up. Feel it's warmth. Feel it's glow. Feel it's moody, it's life. Feel it's mana. Your breath flowing in and out of the heart. Just be present. Just time and attention to our manoa. Just observe and keep the breath flowing in. Aki wahu. Exhaling out. Feel its warmth becoming warmer. Its glow, its light becoming brighter. Feel it reaching back as you reach in. Feel the opening of the heart. Akiroto, feel your breath. Feel the warmth of the open heart. Feel the glow, the brightness becoming brighter. Our awareness to the energy of Aroha, 
Ya Allah, Bismillah. It's generated in the open heart. Energy that connects us to each other. Energy that connects us to all things. The breath of life. Attention to gratitude. To be grateful, to be thankful. Feel the energy of receival. Feel the warmth and the light, the unconditional heart. Flow, sitting bright within each and every one of us. When you're ready, begin to flush the warmth, the light, the energy of the heart. To your entire body, your entire tina, to your cellular structure, to your muscle, to your bone, to your marrow, pushing the energy of the heart to your entire being, pushing up through the neck, to the upo. Scalp to the center of the Rupoko, down through the Kanuhi, connect and flush the energy of the heart down through the Koka, through the throat, through the neck, onto the top of the shoulders. Flush its energy down through the arms, through the elbows, forearms, all the way to the tips of your fingers. Through every cell, every joint. Flushing down through the chest, through the paw, to the top of the back. Pushing down to the solar plex, the upper puku, into the center back. Pushing the energy of the heart down into the puku, into the lower back. Begin to feel its energy pulsating through your entire tinama. Down through the hope to the uri, to your thighs, to your knees, to your calves, into your ankles, all the way to the tips of your toes. Through the vibration of the heart moving through your entire being. Feel its essence vibrating through the entire body. The breath flow. And when you're ready, bring your attention to 
the top of the hoop buckle with intention drawing three breaths of your higher faculties. Drawing breath through the hoop buckle, expanding the heart into the manoa. Release your breath downward through the hoop manoa into papa. Akiroto, Oyaku, I slow, slow indeed. Spend the manawa. Release the breath. The good manawa into papa. Akiroto. Akiwaku. Now do the two monoliths pop. Ano Akiroto. Akiwaku. Just feel that life force pulsating through the body. Feel your vibration and balance. Coming back to your natural rhythm of breathing. Just feel your space. Coming back to the T number. Just holding the state. Slowly open your eyes. Rise to two our feet slowly. Coming into our forty pito. Beginning to bring up our physicality into awareness. Just have your hip, uh, your feet just a little bit wider than your hips. As you move through our quarter pito, start to accentuate the movements. <coughs> a little bit up the body. Akiroto, find your pose bits. Akiwaho. Akiroto. Akiwaho. Akiroto. Akiwaho. Your awareness, find your attention, your center. To fit our white chara kinui, stretch the tina. Towards Langi Tawa Waki and Papa Tuanu, spread the arms wide. Acknowledge the energy of Papa. Draw yourself to the center. Or Tipito, growing ourselves in the world of life. Kutia Te Maui, grasp and take hold of your life force. Hei ora ngā wairua, you are the spirit. Hei ora ngā hilingaro, you are the mind. Hei ora ngā tīnama, you are the body. Hei ora ngā whānau, you are your whānau, your friends, you are the growth signs. Kupi tu tamatāni. May your lessons. They do come a he make our feminine lessons. We turn out to a center for the Buki Fakamuri. They are not to keep our two for now. Hey, or Allah. Mungawi Fakaheke be well for our generations that are to come. We turn to your center. Tukuna 
Mind your pole position. Hakiroto. Hakiwaho. Get to engage. Hakiroto. Situate the movements. Hakiwaho. Hakiroto. Hakiwaho. Four TP. Press deep lunge. Two fair up my channel. Stretch the T number. Now, more walk here for part one. Four TP. Get your bone. Hey, you're on the way you are. Hey, you're on the keeping a room. Hey, you're on the T number. Hey, you're on the farm. Oh, Tipito, always return to your center. Te tutama tāne. Te tutama wahine. Male and female lessons. Return unto its balanced center. O ki whakahuri. Ta wāki ki ngā tūpapa. Te i oranga. O ngā uri. Whakaheke. O Tipito. For our generations to come, be well. Turn to your centre. To puna tamauri tihei. On our pai tonga, furi kite puau. Ha kina. Engage your tinama. I need to open up the physicality of your being. Ha kina. Ha kuta. Ha kina. Ha kuta. Lord, you do. Tu fera mai te arangi, a moa ki a patuan, o te pito. Nu te a te mauri, he i ora ngā wairua, he i ora ngā kimenga, he i ora ngā tīnama, he i ora ngā whānau. Ni mali o whānau, o whānau, te tūtama kāne. Tutama wahine. Tui 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 balan sinta. O te pito. O ki whakamuri. Nga wātu ki ngā tūpuna. Hei o rama. O ngā uri. Whakaheke. O te pito. Tūpuna tama uri. Tīhei. Uri. The Pai Tukuru, always the four directions, the four diamonds, all people. Akina, Kafuta, Akina, Kafuta. Find and return to your center, or the people. Tukara Mai Charaki, stretch. Tāmo waki a papatuan. O te pito, throwing yourself in the world of light. Te ate mauri. Te i ora ngā waitua. Te i ora ngā kimengaro. Te i ora ngā tīnama. Te i ora ngā whānau. O te pito. Te tūtama tāne. Mana te anei o te tūtama waki ne. On a Jaffi Wellness. We turn up to its balance center. Oh, the people. We keep a kamuri. We are allowed to keep our tupuna. Hey, your anna. Ungauri. Baka hiki. Oh, the people. Be well for our generations that are still to come. Tukuna tamauri. Tihei. Hākina, hākuta, hākina, hākuta. Eyes closed, face your palms forward, tilt your shoulders back, tilt your upoko. Lift in the upoko, sit your facing, the rise of Kamanui Tera. Just feel the essence of this energy pulsating through your tea number. The life force. The body. 
ਪਾਸੇ ਕਿੰਝ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਾਸਲੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਈਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਰਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ੋ ਰਾਤ ਹੋ ਇਸ ਕੋਲ ਗੇ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਆਰ ਫਿਸਟ ਉਹ ਬਾਕੀ ਆਨ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋ ਰਾਕ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਸੀਤਾ ਵਾਈ ਬਾਕੀ ਫੇਲ ਦੇ ਬਸ ਚੁਸਤੀ ਰੋਟੇਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਰੈਸਟ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਦਾ ਰੈਸਟ ਵਾਈ ਰੀਲੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਫਿੰਗਰਸ ਓਫ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਦਾ ਰੈਸਟ ਓਲ ਦਾ ਵੇ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਫੋਰ ਆਰਮ and strengthens the area of the elbow tahi uwa koru fa rima ono fitu koru iwa tako kapai yaraka ida tapping from the top of our ankle all the way to the lower part of the knee the boy just taps softly so we get our aid but think too hard just opening up the bottom of the why why to be our five count be careful of the ankle just soft tapping up to the side of the calf tahi rua oru fa rima up all the way back down to the bottom my slow tapping just to get our target right face by fucker fifty we got short like go up to a lift head in the head into the center of the rock baki ano baki pende just in the rock turning the wrist keeping our fingers our wrists all up through the forearm where the muscle drops into the elbow sometimes when we are uh, into these areas can be quite a long time to heal through these areas tagi uwa oru ba Rima, Ono, Fiti, Waru, Iwa, Teko, Apai. We are going to get to the end of the Rako. Okay, that bit, down onto our left wide-way. Just slowly tapping up the side of the calf. Just going lightly farther, just so we sort of can get our tuck. It'll be a little bit uh, enlightening if we tap the bone. that's coming oh no idea if i do our count tahi dua four five three ba you work the body is all on high muscle through here so it's the weight thing the energy that can need up sitting and getting embedded how about bring our short rack go down oh the long rack Arms spacing down, both sides. Right, find your point position. I like just to slide bend in my knees, feet bit wider than the than the hips. Maki pende, opening up through the shoulders. If you can, come all the way down to the lower back. The closer your arms together, the harder it will be to bring the rako down. So start wide. Then slowly bring your arms in as you move through the through our time. Tahi, Ua, Toru, Fa, Lima, Ono, Fitu, Oru, Iwa, Tako. I'm going to bring our rako up onto the top of our shoulders. Your legs sit on the ends. Maki pene. Try to keep your feet pointed so it isolates to the top of the tibia muscle. Opening up across the chest through the shoulders and through the top of the arm, loosening and opening up through the back. Your count off. Tahi. Dua. Toru. Ba. Lima. Ono, Fitu, Waru, Iwa, Tukai, Kapai, Mahi Pene, pivot off that opposite foot, 
Follow the eyes. Twisting more. Following the eyes all the way around to the back of the self. Make sure you pivot off the opposite foot. Just to look after our knees. You'll feel this all the way down to the spine, starting to move into the hope. Tahi. Ua. Toru. Ma. Lima. Ono. Pitu. Waru. Iwa. Jakou. Kapai. Bring our rato back over the top. Bring our rato to our poho. So our rato is touching our chest. Try mahi pene. Pivot off the opposite foot again. Push the opposite arm out across the front. All the way through to the side. Mahi pene. Touch the poho. Come back. Always touch the paw every time you return. You feel this out through the arms, the shoulders, through the shoulder blades, the hook bit. Now we should be moving into engaging our whole T number. Push out through the sides of the straight arm, go as far as you can go. Just remember, follow your ability, feel your space, feel your breath. Knowledge of Tinama. Tahi. Rua. Mori. Ma. Rima. Ono. Pitu. Waru. Iwa. Teko. Five. Bring our back to our poho. Bring our rapu. Lower, turn our palms up. <coughs> palms facing up this time. Just drive the end of the rako. Level with the eye height. Maki pene. Same again, just power our feet. Just to get the rhythm, we're coming back the other way with the movement. Getting our blood flowing. Warming the teeth up. Creating wellness and energy pumping through the body. Tahi, this is our first stage. Ua, Toru, Pa, Lima, Ono, Pitu, Waru, Iwa, Teko, Kapoi. Stage two, pivot off the back foot, drive the rako out to the side, drive the higher. To the ear, put off that back foot, turning through the tinaba. We're feeling this all the way through the tinaba now. Tahi, Nua, this is our stage two. Boru, Ba, Lima, Ono, Pitu, Waru. Iwa, the coat, our stage three, if you like, drop into the squat, same movement, just lowering ourselves from the way way. Bringing more mahi into the way way, pushing out through the thighs. Tahi, Iwa, Toru, Ma. Lima, Ono, Pitu, Waru, Iwa, Tako. I might come back to stage two. Just take the squat out of it. Keep pivoting off the four. Drive the rako out higher, Tahi. Lua, Waru. Ma, Lima, Ono, Pitu, Waru, Iwa, to go back to stage one, just driving up to eyesight. This time, pull the feet, 
Wildly back down, Tahik. Lua. Toru. Fa. Rima. Ono. Pitu. Waru. Iwa. Tika. Kapai. Nga rato to set up. Nga rato around the back. Palms facing forward. Across the lower back. I'll turn around so everyone can see. Palms are facing forward. Maki Pele, just roll that rato across the lower back. Again, pivot on that foot. And after our knees. Now from here, you can roll the rato slowly up the back. Just turning your hands. the back, just be able to come up to about halfway. Walk the rako up, slowly walk the rako back down. Feel it hitting it to the lower back. Right. Got a high muscle through here. A lot of stuff sitting through the back. Right. Tahi, just a five count. Lua. Toru. Ma, lima, kapai pivot and push more. Push the rako across down into the lower. Ope, nahi, lua, toru, ma, lima, ono, fiti, waru, iwa. To go. Awesome, Fano. Awesome. Bring our rako back around to the front. Palms facing down. Bring your rako to your poho. Roll your wrists back. Release the breath out. Push the rako out. Akiwaho. Roll the fist. Uh, roll the wrist forward. Akiroto. Touch the poho. Exhale. Inhale. Waho, Akiroto, pushing back through the Tinama, Akiwaho, Iroto, Waho, we are count off, Rima, Pa, Oru. Lua, Pai, Pai. You can bring our rako around to the back. Maki Pene, so our right hand is at the top holding the rako. Bringing the left hand around the lower back, palm facing away. Bring pressure into the top arm and pull the bottom arm away from the tinama. You'll feel a stretch all through the shoulder area. It's really good to open the space. Like I say, especially if there's not much activity during the day for the tinama. You have a, um, at the desk in long periods of time or any rehabilitation through the shoulder, rotator cuffs, things like that. So pulling the back arm, the bottom arm away from the tinama, maki pene, tahi, lua. Toru, Fa, Lima. If I release the pressure on the top arm, just bring that left arm out. You've got a shake, shake out from the shoulder. Mindful you're shaking it down out through the end of the fingers. My fucker piti turako. Now left hand to the top, right hand to the lower behind the back. Again, grasp the rako. Apply pressure from the top arm. Pull that bottom arm away from the tinama. You'll feel the stretch through the shoulder. Opening up through the shoulder. It's a really good for shoulder injuries. We're just keeping ourselves supple. Just a few, a little bit of a maki that we can sort of do. Dropping into more as we move through the, 
through our sessions. Rima, Ma, Toru, Tua, Tang, Kapa. Release the pressure from the top arm. Shake that arm out. They usually do about three to five times on these, but these are just four hours into our space, just for our self aroha, our self care. Bring our rako around to the front. Push your arms out full extension, rest the rako on the ground. Bring your ringa ringa down, just drop your tinana. So the crown of your upopo is facing the rako. Just a small stretch just to finish us. Just feel the stretch through the arms, through the shoulders, down through the back, all into the hoppy. Just hold that space. Tahi, Lua, Toru, Pa, Lima, Mono, Pitu, Waru, Iwa, Teko, Kapai, drop your ringa ringa down further if you can. Just bring more of a stretch into the Tinana. You'll feel it through the hope in the back of your wai wai. Adjust to your ability. Remember controlling your breath, relax your body, feel the stretch through the back. Tani, Lua, Toru, Ta, Lima, Ono, Titi, Waru, Iwa, Teko, Kapa. So we come back up into our bucket car, coming back into our standing position. In your arco, across the front of the T number, left palm facing down, right palm facing up. Just eyes closed. Pakiroto. Pakiwaho. Just relax your space and just feel the energy that's different from one hour ago. Just pulsating. Opening up the body, more of a stillness within yourself, more of an alignment. Just acknowledge it, pulsating through your being. Teta Hadri, Teta Koro, 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 Beautiful to see everybody. We'll see you on Friday.